are coming on our last quote unquote official week of winter. And starting next Thursday, um, or next Friday, we are going to be coming more and more young. We're at the very kind of the very end, our yin energy. Hopefully we've been replenishing, we've been resting and sleeping, and we'll slowly transition from this yin into the more young state. And in honor of that, I wanted to go ahead and do the yin eight pieces of brocade this evening to really nourish and just give that last, and we'll still do some yin stuff, but just really acknowledge the beautiful, cooling, calming, or calming energy that we get in the winter, that slowing down so we can rejuvenate. We'll begin with our warm-ups as usual, then we'll move into the eight pieces of brocade. Let's begin by inhaling our hands out to the side, up and over, exhaling down through center. Bring your left hand up straight, your right hand in a loose fist, and set your intention to honor and love the cool dark energy that rebuilds and replenishes you. Release your hands. Place your hands on your hips, feet um, hip to shoulder width apart. Spine is elongating up, tailbone reaching down. Inhale, exhale and turn your head to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale and turn your chin over your left shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, gaze up and back, opening up along your thyroid, the front of your neck. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, tuck your chin, gaze down at the ground opening up the back of your neck, along the top of the shoulders. Inhale, center. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, turn your head over your right shoulder, really looking behind you with your eyes as well. Inhale, center. Exhale and look over the left. Spine is straight, tailbone rooting down. Inhale, center. Exhale, gaze up and back. Bring your eyes back as well. Really stretch your eyeballs. Inhale, center. Exhale, tuck your chin and gaze down. Inhale back to center and bring your hands in front of you for arm circles, one hand on top of the other. Inhale as you raise your hands up overhead. Exhale, gaze at your right fingertips as your arms drop down. Bring your hands through center again and it's this effortless floating, almost as if your arms are filled with helium. You're not forcing the motion. You're letting them float up. The ease, bring your hands back through center, the ease with which you are moving your arms allows the chi to flow. Bring hands back through center, bring them up, Exhale and gaze out over the left fingertips. Bring your hand so your left hand is behind you with the hand on the back, back of the hand on the back. Inhale your right hand up and over so it touches right where your shoulder blade and neck meet. Inhale, elongate. Exhale and side bend to the left gazing down at the floor. Really feel the stretch along the side of your body. Inhale, 
switch your hands and exhale folding to the right leaning in this beautiful side bend gazing down inhale back to center switch your arms and exhale to the other side this is actually great for the spleen and stomach which we were just talking about inhale back to center and switch leaning to the right side bend to the right inhale center and bring your hands down in by your sides we're going to do balancing now so go ahead and put your weight into your left foot bring your right foot slightly forward as you inhale make sure that you're feeling the weight in the right foot inhale and raise your arms up as you're putting that weight in the front foot really feel that Exhale, bring your hands down to your side as you lift the left foot. Inhale the hands back up again as you step back and then bring your hands down to your side. Inhale, step the left foot out as you raise the hands up, put the weight into that left foot exhale bring your hands down to your side as you raise the right knee up remember only go as high as you can if you need to hold on to a chair or you know a counter do what you need to do just work at your level exhale um, inhale step the foot back as the hands come up and then exhale bring the hands down to your side Let's go ahead and put the weight into the left foot again. Step the right foot forward as the hands come up. And if you can lift your um, left foot higher, go ahead and bring the hands to pull the leg up. Again, very effortless, like your helium. Inhale, step the foot back as the hands come up and exhale bring the feet together weight in the right foot inhale the hands up as you put your weight into your left foot exhale bring up the right knee right leg balance remember the tricks of gazing in the distance or at the floor inhale as the hands come up and the foot steps back exhale come back to center step your feet about hip width apart and let's go just a little bit wider and we'll do hip circles we'll do four times one direction this is two three four and now the other direction one two three four beautiful um, bring your feet together knees together and we're going to rotate our knees now we'll go four times one direction and then four times the other this is three four and now the other direction one two three and four feet come hip to shoulder width apart and we'll do natural respiration or pulling down the heavens for four breaths inhale and rotate your hands out and up bringing them overhead and exhale them down through center 
Remember that helium, your hands are effortlessly moving. This flow allows your chi to flow through your body. And as you sweep out, up and up, you're gathering beautiful clouds, fluffy white clouds of chi and letting them filter all the way through your body releasing stagnant chi into the earth inhale filling up and exhale releasing down we'll go ahead and begin our eight pieces of brocade now and we'll start with holding up the heavens like a pillar or double hands reaching upward Inhale your hands out to your sides and up. Turn your palms so they're facing up towards the heavens. You can gaze up at your fingertips. Really reach up. And then exhale, bring your hands back down to your sides. Inhale the hands out and up. Gazing up, reaching up, really stretch your torso and lung, but effortlessly, right? Just thinking that you're lifting and letting yourself lift. And then exhale your hands back down to your sides. Drawing the bow on the left and the right. Inhale your hands in a nice round shape in front of you. It's almost like this nice round sphere that you're holding, crossing at your wrists. Place your weight into your right foot as you turn to the left. Bring your left hand out in front and your right arm back. The tendency is to like reach the hand out and pull the hand back. Remember that helium feeling just let the arms be in space. Let the chi move them where they need to go so the chi flow through the muscles. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, step back to center, crossing at the wrist. Put your weight into your left foot and turn over to the right, reaching the right hand forward at shoulder height, the left hand drawing back, the weight mostly in the front foot. Remember, it's not tense. You're elongating and reaching. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale back to center, crossing at the wrists. Inhale and exhale here briefly. Inhale and as you exhale, turn to the left again, reaching forward with your left hand, gazing off into the distance. The right hand moving back effortlessly. Inhale back to center. Nice round shape in front of you, holding this beautiful energy of this beautiful chi for your heart. And then exhale, turning to the right, stepping forward as you gaze off into the distance. Inhale back to center and exhale your hands down to your sides. Step your feet hip to shoulder width apart for single hand holding up the heavens. Inhale both hands to chest height. At chest height, the right, right hand's going to turn down, the left hand is going to turn up, and you're going to just reach in opposite directions. Again, effortless movement. Inhale. 
Inhale, draw in both palms facing each other. The left hand continues down and the right hand turns and presses up, elongating through the torso, the energy centers, your Dantian, the lower and middle Dantian opening. Inhale, drawing in chi from the heavens and the earth. And then exhaling, sending your chi, the stagnant chi back up to rejuvenate, releasing stagnation. Inhale, both palms face each other. The left continues down and the right turns up as you press. Really reach. Inhale both hands to chest height now, and then turn both palms down and exhale down to the ground. The next is going to be looking over the shoulders. And when we look over the shoulders in this mode, we'll have our hands in loose fists at our side to start. And we're going to be pressing one hand forward and the other back and as you come back it kind of sweeps in so your fingertips sweep your side and then envision that you're pressing out with your thumbs you're pressing forward and back with your thumbs and then we'll make loose fists and bring our hands back in to be at the sides the idea here also is we're not forcing it we're letting the the hands reach into these positions with this easy graceful uh, movement so bring your hands into loose fists by your side the feet are hip to shoulder width apart so just feel comfortable inhale exhale press your left hand forward <clears throat> excuse me your right hand back and turn to your right and look behind you curl your fingers in and unwind from the hips the torso and then the shoulders and head inhale exhale press your hands out as you turn from your hips <clears throat> excuse me, waist, shoulders, and head. Really pressing with your thumbs. Curl your fingers in and turn from the hips, the torso, the shoulders, and then the head. Inhale, press the left hand forward, right hand back as you turn to the right reaching forward reaching back curl the fingers in unwind the head unwinds last as you come back one more time inhale and then exhale as you press really reaching with your thumbs but this effortless elongation this un this kind of like untightening of the muscles as they move. Curl the fingers in and unwind back to center. Release the hands. Clearing heart fire. The side bends clear heart fire anytime we elongate the sides of our waist. We let the heart fire release and heart fire can actually cause the type of insomnia where you cannot fall asleep or when you wake you can't fall back to sleep but it's often that you can't fall asleep for this you're going to have your feet um, it pretty wide apart you want to make sure that you can feel balanced if you need to be more upright that's okay but just make sure what I would do if you can't go down to a stance I'm just gonna have you slide your hand down your leg to the side so if you can't do the um, pose where you're coming down just let your hands move down your side as you stretch on this side if you're able to do the full pose come not as wide as horse riding stance but come down and the hands are on your thighs you're going to 
lean the we're gonna go to the left side where we straighten our right arm and we um, have both hands on our legs this elongates and opens up and releases within the spleen and stomach and liver to reduce that heart fire then it's important to come back to center the spine centered and long inhale exhale to the right now leaning to the right as you straighten the left arm inhale center grounding bringing in the earth energy getting ready to exhale and lean to the left again bringing that that right arm straight feeling the stretch on your side inhale center and ground and then exhale leaning to the right and come back to center and come up and then step your feet together stretching front and back <sighs> with your feet either hip to shoulder width apart or um, you can have them a little bit closer together you're going to inhale your hands down the front of your legs so your hands are actually on your legs if you're seated you can do the same thing let your legs slide down your legs hands slide down your legs and go as far as you can bend your knees if you need and fold forward touching the ground just breathe softly and then on your next inhale let your hands come up the outsides of your legs and bring the pa the palms to the small of your back fingertips facing down now you're going to press your hips forward lift your chest up and bend backward gazing behind inhale back to center hands on your thighs exhale folding down and remember do your breath in a way that makes sense to you breathe how you feel comfortable the breath should be relaxing so just breathe softly and then inhale your hands up the outsides of your legs as you slowly uncurl Place your hands on the small of your back. Inhale and gaze back. Open your chest. Lift up so you don't compress your spine. You can put your weight in your heels to protect your lower back. And then inhale back to center. Punching fists left and right. Bring your hands into loose fists by your hips. Your weight can, um, should be centered um, a little bit more in your heels, and you can step a little bit wider if you'd like, whatever feels comfortable. We're gonna take that same effortless flow that we've been focusing on, that helium almost, that lets us move out and in, um, almost as if through water. With your right hand, um, you're going to go ahead and exhale the fist forward, turning it at the very end you should feel the stretch underneath your arm really coming all the way out keep your shoulders down though you don't want the shoulder to come up and inhale drawing the hand back to starting position knees are slightly bent the tailbone down inhale exhale punching out reaching the hand out just letting it flow forward inhale drawing it back in exhale again with the right hand coming out inhale drawing it back in and 
exhale and move the left hand forward. And inhale, drawing in. Release. Vibrating the heels. Let's go ahead and do one arm circle where we inhale our hands up and actually one natural respiration, sorry, down through center. And now we'll do an arm circle. Inhaling the hands up through center, out to the side, and then bring the palms onto the small of the back. We're going to go ahead and vibrate the heels from here. Inhale and lift the heels off the ground. Really press them up and then set them down. Inhale up again, lifting the heels. And the weight is balanced. If you feel like you're losing your balance, don't come so far forward. You're, you really want to just be coming up, not up and forward. When we come forward, we lose our balance. So just think of elevating up. And that will help you retain the balance and really get the most out of the posture. Lower the heels. And one more time. Inhale, lifting the heels, elevating, elongating, and exhale. We'll do four natural respiration, pulling down the heavens. Inhale, floating the arms up and over, and exhaling them down through center. Inhale out and up, gathering in chi for a restful night's sleep. The you know, ancients taught us that we need chi for good sleep. We need calm chi. So this lets us bring the chi down to our lower dantian, our main energy center. And we'll do a little meditation after this last one to integrate all three dantians. <laughs> <laughs> 